Rakatai Hao, Rakatai Hao Shah, all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rikakadash. Now, when you look at uh, the identifying of the beast and the great whore, you have to go to certain places in Revelation, but it deals with the rulership of the earth. And first of all, to come to that conclusion, you get uh, Lamentations chapter 4, verse uh, 20, I think. Let's go to Lamentation. Let's see. What's that talking about? Let's we'll start with Lamentation. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 20. Nope, it's verse 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwell in the land of Uz. So we go to Job 1 and 1 and say, uh, There was a man in the land of Uz. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. So Job was in the land of the daughter of Edom. The land of the Edomites. So you go to Job chapter 9, verse 24. They say the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where? And who is he? So they made it seem like his, who, who the earth was given to is very obvious. It shouldn't be a mystery. Because yeah, if anybody else even come close it, it, it will be a bad statement to say, if not this guy, who in the world could it be? Or these Edomites. Now, Job 9 and 24 connects with Malachi. Now, Malachi chapter 1 verse 4 says, Whereas Edom says, we are impoverished, but we will return and build desolate places. Thus says the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the, the border of wickedness. They shall call them, meaning the whole nation of Edom, the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. So when you go to uh, Edom, you see the blessing that they had. Uh, and they got it from their father. It say 39. And Esau said unto his father, Have you but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. Verse 40. And by thy sword thou shalt live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when you shall have the dominion or rulership that you shall break his yoke from off your neck. So Esau was going to get the rulership. The earth was given into the hand of the wicked. You see, he received his blessing. Now when you go to Genesis 25 and 25, it says, And the first one came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. Then verse 30, it said, Esau said unto Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with some with the same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. So Edom is the name of the Edomites. Look at here, it says in uh, Genesis 36, verse 1, Now these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. See, his whole nation is Edom. And then it goes to Mount Seir, is even Edom. When you, when you see Mount Seir, it's talking about Edom. When you see Teman, it's talking about Edom. You see, now, when you go to this red situation, let's get the first one in six. 
6 and 4, it says, And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. See, he was given power over the earth. This red horse, horse stands for power, and power stands for kingdom. See, he was given the kingdom to take the peace from the earth. He said, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. We know that these people are ruling because of their military might and because of their nuclear capability. They've been ruling due to those things. Now we go to Revelation 17. Well, let's go to Revelation 12. Uh, Revelation 12. Verse three, it says, and and there was a nut, and there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, a great red dragon, see, with seven heads and ten horns, with seven crowns upon his head. So this red dragon had ten horns and seven crowns. So when you go to seventeen three, look at here. Uh, well, yeah, three, it say, let me highlight that. Verse three says, so he carried me away in the spirit in the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet or red colored beast full of name of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. See, the first red beast or dragon, but it's a beast, had seven, seven heads and ten horns. And in 17, it talks about another beast or, or the same beast with seven heads and ten horns. You see, this is who uh, they're referring to. They're all referring to a red uh, beast. And Esau is this red beast that they're talking about. See, they're describing the nation of Edom. With the seven heads. And let's, let's get twelve. It says. And the ten horns which thou saw. Are ten kings. Which have received no kingdom yet. But received power as king. One hour with the beast. So these ten kings. Was going to have power. With the whole nation. The whole nation. Was going to have power together. That's why thirteen said. These have one mind. So this beast have one mind with Babylon the great, the, the great whore. One mind. It shall give their power and strength unto the beast. So all of the beasts and the ten horns all got the same mind. They're all the same kings because they make up the rulership of the children of Esau. Let's go to Psalms real quick. Psalms. 137 verse 7 it says remember O Lord the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said raise it raise it even to the foundation thereof O daughter of E Babylon so the children of Edom is the daughter of Babylon who ought to be destroyed happy shall he be that reward you as you have rewarded us and so this is who uh, the nation of Edom is. Then you get into the Apocrypha in 2nd Ezra 6 and 9. It says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So you got Esau being the end of the world. Because he was the first to rule as Numbers verse chapter 24 verse 20 says that Eden was the first to rule because he was the firstborn child. He came out of uh, Rebecca as the firstborn child. And so this red, this red beast and this red dragon is talking about the nation of Eden. 
And let's see who this who this um red dragon was. Revelations twelve and twelve. It says in verse twelve and nine, Revelation twelve and nine. It said a great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. See this great red dragon, these great Edomites who got their uh, power uh, through the uh, the Lord giving them the blessing. They certified as blessing. Hebrews, um, Hebrews chapter. 11 verse 20 it says by faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things that come so both of these boys was blessed you see both of these boys was blessed but when it comes to repentance let's see can the, these Europeans, Caucasians, so-called white men, uh, whatever you want to call the people, let's see if they can repent. Uh, Hebrews 12 and 16, it says, Lest there be any fornicated or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Verse 17, For ye know how that afterwards which he would have inherited the blessing he was rejected for he found no place of repentance though he sought it carefully with tears see he got a blessing but he didn't get the blessing the firstborn child blessing because Jacob sur sur um, supplanted him that's what Jacob or Yaquah mean to supplant so he supplanted him for the everlasting blessing and what's that everlasting blessing? That the Israelites was going to rule. And they're going to have an everlasting rulership. Um, Daniel 17 and 8, 7, 18, it's the life. Daniel 7, 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. So, they was going to take the kingdom uh, from the Edomites, which is the fourth kingdom. Because look at him. When you go up to 17 and say, uh, these great beasts, which are four, are four kings which arise out of the earth. Okay. It say, verse 19, then I will know the truth of the fourth beast. See, this fourth beast is the red beast and the Red dragon, look at verse 20. And of the ten horns, and of the ten horns that were in his head. So, this ten horn uh, alliance of Edom, Edomites is the fourth, fourth beast, which the, 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 the uh, Israelites is going to take the kingdom from them. And this is the verse that talks about it. Ezekiel 24. Um, I think it might be 25. Let's try 24. Yeah, 25, 14. It says, And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. See, he's going to lay vengeance on the Edomites by the hand of the Israelites. And that's why uh, he's waiting to the last days so Esau can get his blessing and then he can trans he be waking the children of Israel up uh, after the blessing has been uh, secured by Esau, his rulership. And so then he's going to give it to Jacob. That's why I say Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Now, when you look at Obadiah, the book is dedicated all to Esau. The last verse say, it's 21, And Savior shall come up on the Mount of Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord.
So in the kingdom, the Israelites are going to be judging the Edomites. And we're uh, getting closer to that day where he uh, come from come from the, uh, the heavens or the sky and start the process of the Israelites judging the Edomites. And so them, that, that red beast in Revelation is talking about the nation of Edom. The red dragon is talking about the nation of Edom. The red horse is talking about the nation of Edom. Because Edom means red and the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. They are the rulers of the earth. But I'm going to leave it there. All praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Kapadash, double honors to the elders pushing the truth. Peace to the elect worldwide, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Uh, our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.